Okay, let's do another FE type question. In this case, we're still looking at psychrometrics, but we want to find the specific humidity using the equations. So I'm not going to use the chart for this question. I'll just show you that you can also use the equations to find whatever you need or whatever you're asked. In this case, we're finding the specific humidity. So we're told here for a sample of air with a dry bulb temperature of 25 degrees Fahrenheit and a relative humidity of 30% at a barometric pressure of 1 atm, the specific humidity in kilograms of moisture per kilogram of dry air is most nearly what? So we're finding the specific humidity. So the specific humidity is what we are trying to find and this will be denoted as our omega. So in my last solution, I made a mistake. I said that the relative humidity is omega, but the relative humidity is going to be our phi value. So that's important. Our specific humidity is our omega. And it's going to be the mass of water vapor per mass of the dry air. So we're finding the kilogram of moisture per kilogram of dry air. We're finding this omega. So the way we can arrive at this is by using... The following equation which is found in the FE handbook and let's go to thermodynamics control F psychrometric and you can go down here and we can look at this so we're taking our omega value m sub b divided by m sub a m sub b is the mass of water vapor and we have m sub a on the bottom which is the mass of dry air so we're finding this omega and the equation that we're going to specifically use is going to be this one this one and I'm going to take 0 0.622 times my P sub V which is the partial pressure of water vapor divided by our P value which is going to be 1 atm in this case of the air water mixture minus P sub V which is the same on the top the partial pressure of the water vapor and the way we can get the partial pressure of the water vapor is by using the relative humidity equation which is our phi value we can determine this p sub v because we can arrive at this p sub g by using our steam tables we can find this p sub g which is the saturation pressure of water at that 25 degrees celsius from the steam tables and phi we know is 30 percent right so 0 0.30 so that's a lot to say but let's do that so we know our omega is gonna be the 0 0.622 times p sub b divided by our p minus p sub v so we're using this is the main equation we're going to use but before that we know we need this p sub v p is just going to be 1 atm and we'll plug that at the end as we when we find p sub v so p sub v the way we can get this is by using this equation for relative humidity and it's going to be phi equals to p sub v over p sub g so p sub v is the partial pressure partial vapor pressure p sub g is the saturation pressure and this phi is just 0 0.30 right it's the 30 percent you just divide by 100 is 0 0.30 so we can get p sub g by using the steam tables so let's go back in the handbook and let's go thermodynamics control f steam and I think here we go steam tables so now we're looking at what temperature we're at a temperature if we go back of 25 degrees Celsius right so let's go to 25 degrees Celsius here and extract this pressure this is all we have to do it's a saturation pressure that P sub G is the saturation pressure so it's 3.169 so let's plug that in the equation so this would equal to our 0 0.30 equals to our p sub v which is what we're going to find times the on the bottom it's going to be 3.169 kilopascals you saw for p sub v and my calculations i got 0 0.9507 kilopascals
So let's keep kilopascals and proceed. So now all we have to do is take this piece of V value, this, and plug it in here and in here. That's all we're doing and solving for omega. So we take 0 0.622 times piece of B, which is this one, 0 0.9507 kPa, divided by my P value is 1 ATM. And we know, let's write it on the side, 1 ATM, you should have this memorized, is going to equal to 101.3 kilopascal so you should have this memorized it's very important to know that conversion kilopascal we're at 1 atm for p minus our p sub v value which is 0 0.9507 kilopascals so now you can just do all the math and solve for your omega which is going to be again the specific humidity and we get 0 0.0152 it's going to be kilograms of the moist air divided by the kilograms of dry air before we finish all of this there's going to be if you're doing mechanical there's a free checklist for you to download all you have to do is go on my website so you can go on let me type it so you go to directhub.net you go fe exam prep you can go all the way at the bottom so here are i think these are math practice questions you go to checklist you click on the 2020 fe exam and this is for civil this is for mechanical free download and it will be sent to your email in the instant so that's all you have to do and in the checklist the whole point of it is so I'll open the checklist here so what you have is the topics and these are updated for 2020 and you have the approximate number of questions and these will add up to a hundred percent this is how the NCS does it so for mathematics you're gonna get around six on the actual exam you're gonna be attempting 110 questions but I believe they only grade 100 of the questions based on the charts I get from students they only grade only a hundred of the questions so for math you're gonna get around six probability and statistics around four ethics around four so if you can go down you look at all of these Thermodynamics is going to be a big section, so it's around 10% of your exam, 10%. And we just did psycho, psychometrics, and you're going to get around 10 questions. Fluids is going to be a big section, so make sure you know these mechanics and materials, dynamics, kinematics, and vibrations. And I think down here, this is also the biggest section as well. It's around 10% as well, mechanical design and analysis. So you can use this to have a general idea of what to expect. This is just a pie chart showing the percentages. Thermodynamics is around 10. Fluids is around 10% of the FE exam. And on this tab, you have a topic checkoff list. So what we just did, how I use this with my students for now, is you go to psychometrics. All you have to do is check it off. So you can zoom in and... Uh, Excel sheet if you cover this section and if you feel confident check it off and proceed to the next you go to the heating ventilation HVAC check things off as you cover each subtopic for thermodynamics so we did psychometrics and here you have some options so if you look on these topics studied what that means is you can type in, let's say for psychometrics, you covered heat transfer, how to calculate heat transfer, which is the change in enthalpy, I believe. Then you can say you looked at finding the specific, the what we just did, which is 
running blank specific humidity and we you can also say you found the enthalpies enthalpies anyway so you get the point so you type in what you covered in each topic studied if you choose to do that and use that approach but it's up to you I usually do that with my students study time you can put hours days and weeks let's say for psychometrics you chose based on your study schedule you chose to put in an one hour per the one week you did per that one week of study obviously the other hours are going to be given to the other subsections right and then for this last column topics to review so this is important because knowing your weaknesses is going to be very crucial and it allows you to review things and rather than just forgetting about them and skipping it so let's say your weakness is use it for psychometrics is understanding where the difference between the dew point and the dry bulb temperature and the dew point temperature and so on on the psychometric chart so all you have to do is type that in here and the last thing is just notes to yourself you can put whatever you want in that column but yeah this is just a topic checkoff list ma mainly and all you have to do is check these off and it's gonna be for free you just register and you'll get it via email but yeah, let me know if this helps and thank you.